Today we will be talking about skip counting. It comes from TEK 17.158. It says, skip counting is counting by a number that is not one. So we're no longer going to be counting one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to be using twos, fives, and tens. And here's an example right here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. It is a first step to learning multiplication in three ways. The first one is by telling time on a clock. So if you see here, you have the numbers from 1 all the way to 12. That tells the hour. The minutes, on the other hand, well, you will be counting by fives, and it starts at the top with 0, 0. So you count starting at the 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. So on this clock, if you can see, it tells the time as 2, 25. You can skip count by twos when you read a thermometer. So for example, if you have a thermometer here, you're going to see longer lines and those count by tens. But then you'll also see smaller little black lines in between those and those are counted by two. So again, from zero to 10, you have two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. So on this thermometer, when you read it, it shows it at 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Number three, you can go to a football field and count by tens. On a football field, the 50 mark is actually in the middle of the field, and then it spreads out 40, 30, 20, 10, and then zero. But you can also count it as zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way to 100. One way to skip count is by using a number line. This number line ranges from 0 to 20. Here I started at the 3. So in order to count by 3's, you must skip 3 numbers. 1, 2, 3. So you jump it over 3 times, you end on 6. From 6, 3 times, you get to 9. From 9, 3 more times, 12. 12, 3 more times is 15. And 15, 3 more spaces is 18. And yet another way that you can skip count is by using a hundreds chart. On here you see a hundreds chart and there is a pattern. Here we are counting by threes and every third number is colored. So when you look you have a pattern of one, two, three, it's colored. Every three is colored and when you look at the overall picture you see a pattern going at, a, at an angle. You can also skip count by fives on a hundreds chart. Here you have a hundreds chart counting uh, by fives. When you count by fives, all your numbers will end in either a zero or a five. So for example, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. So the numbers are highlighted in green. Then of course, you can also look at it another way, counting by tens. So when you count by tens, no matter where you're starting, whether it's a 10, a nine, or an eight, you're always going to be going down one row. So you count 10, you go down one row, it's 20, 30, 40, 50. So if you look at your numbers, you have a pattern. Now the number that you see here at the end will always be a zero. For example, if you choose a nine or an eight, here I selected an eight, all the numbers that go down, the second number are eight. So, What's the fastest way to count to 100? The answer, you can group your, your items by tens. So here I have a chart with 10 different items spread out and they are grouped. So you count and you say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Happy 100 days of school, boys and girls. Thank you for watching.